To run the analysis on Autodesk Nastron, click on Environments. From Assembly, click on Autodesk Nastron. Now, there is already an analysis being going on. You can delete this analysis. Right click on an analysis and press delete. It will restore the frame structure into its original shape. Once it's done, you want to delete this generic material. If there are any other materials being shown here, right click and delete. You want to delete all the idealizations as well. Right click and delete all. Okay. Once you have cleaned the previous analysis and there is no other load specified, there is no other material specified apart from the materials you have assigned for the frame and the top plate. If you have specified two materials, one for the frame and one for the top plate, it will show two materials here. Okay. The one you were seeing earlier on generic, that was for the reference structure. So in order to see whether the reference structure is being included in this study or not, you can just click on plus sign in the assembly and you will be able to see that reference structure. But if you have suppressed it in the assembly, it won't show here. If you have not suppressed it, it will show here. Then you will have to exclude that from study. In order to exclude any component from the study, right click and you will be able to click on exclude from study or exclude from analysis. But for the time being, we need the top plate in this analysis. We will not exclude it and we need the frame structure as well. In the analysis, we will not exclude this as exclude this as well. Okay. Once you have done this, the next step is to click on structural members. And if all the idealizations are shown as beams, you need to convert them into solids. If they are already in solids, just press OK. And that will make your solid idealizations. Once you have done this, you need to specify the constraints. So I want fully fixed. This phase to be fully fixed of the, at the bottom of the jacket structure. <coughs> Ensure you are selecting the face and not the whole tube itself. Press OK and you will be able to see the constraints applied at the bottom of the jacket structure. Once the constraint are applied, you need to apply the load. In the case of Nastran, you can apply different types of loading. It can be moment, it could be distributed load, it could be hydrostatic load, it could be pressure, gravity, remote force, and so on. For the time being, let's say I'm applying point loading, which is force, and that is being applied at the middle of this top plate and it is normal to the surface and the magnitude of the force I'm applying is 25,000 newtons. Press OK. And as you can see, the arrow is pointing upwards, but we want our arrow to point downwards. Double click on it and you will be able to edit the force and you can just Put the minus sign and you will be able to edit it. Press OK again and now you will be able to see the arrow will be pointing downwards. So that will specify the load on top of this top plate. Now the next step is to specify the contacts. Click on auto and it will automatically detect the contacts for your assembly. Now you will be able to see surface contacts plus click plus sign on it and expand this here. You will be able to see if there are any warning signs, they will appear here, but they are not any warnings for the timing. So that all the contacts have been done successfully. Okay, you have specified the contacts. You have specified the idealizations. Okay, you have specified the load. You have specified the constraints. You have specified the material. The next step is to specify the mesh settings. So click on mesh settings and you want your mesh to be refined enough because if your mesh is not refined, either your mesh will fail or you will not get accurate results. 
Okay, the, if you put a lower value, you can double click on it and you can enter any value. You can enter 100 and it will be done. But the lower the element size is, the more time it is going to take to run the analysis. So let's say the fine value, recommended value from the software we got was 179. You can go lower than that. The lower you go, the more precise results you are going to get. So let, for the time being, let's go with 179. I want the element order to be linear parabolic will although parabolic will give me more accurate results but it is going to take a lot of time as our jacket structure is quite a big structure so we want just an idea how the structure is going to behave under 25,000 of loading if you are running very precise analysis then you can opt for parabolic element order click on continuous machine and press ok and wait for the system to generate the meshes Once your meshing is complete, it could happen that Nastran will not consider your top plate as part of your whole assembly. So in order to ensure that you have done a mesh for your top plate as well, as you can see, all the other components have been meshed apart from the top plate. So you will have to manually enter the idealization as at this point. If you run the analysis as it is, you will start getting fatal errors and you will not get results at all if you run the analysis like this so in order to mesh the top plate manually firstly click on idealizations and make sure your material is while still associate with the geometry select the geometry you want to associate it with press ok and now you will be able to see another mild steel materials under the model tree here Okay, once you have done that, click on table for the meshing, scroll down, and you will be able to see the top plate. Visibility is on, you have got the element size as well, and select the top plate from here. Ensure that you are selecting top plate. Once you have selected the top plate, just click on generate mesh, and it will just generate the mesh for top plate only see whether the mesh has been generated. If you want to refine the mesh further, you can change the element size from here. Let's say if I change it to 400, I can refine the mesh further just for this component. Because this is the deformation of the top plate is what I'm interested in. That's okay, once you're happy with all the meshing. So now every component has been meshed. You have specified the load, you have specified uh, the constraints it is time to run the analysis click on run and invent nastran will start running the analysis now at this point it could take some time and give it around 10 minutes to finish the analysis once you start the process you will be able to see nastran working through its way of the analysis. Now our solution is complete and we will be displayed results shortly. It took around less than two, three minutes to run this analysis, but it depends on the ability of the computer, how long it is going to take. And you will be able to see an exaggerated deformation at first. So you can just click on options Click on deform options and you don't want any deformation and right now this is showing the deformation plus actual plus 10 percent more so you can just click on actual and you will be able to see the actual deformation of the jacket structure and contour options firstly it is showing you the data for stress the maximum stress we have got is 4.5 this is approximately this is lower than the results you we got in the inventor analysis so you can compare your results via nastran and inventor and find out which ones are giving you more accurate results from this you will be able to find the displacement as well you will be able to see the displacement result data so where is the maximum where is the minimum displacement
So the maximum displacement you have got is around two millimeters. Two millimeters displacement you are getting for this jacket structure and now you can compare your results with Nastrian and Inventor okay, and discuss which ones are giving you more accurate results. Press OK. And now you will be able to see the displacement here, the maximum displacement, and you will be able to see the contour as well. Where the maximum displacement is, you will be able to see maximum displacement and minimum displacement points on the jacket structure. So you may want to strengthen the top plate or provide any supports underneath to reduce the deformation to your desired value. So that's how you run a basic static analysis on Autodesk Inventor Nastran. You can finish the analysis and go back to your assembly if you want to modify anything. And in order to modify, you can bring your reference structure back. You can unsurpress it and you can turn the visibility of the reference structure back on. It is already on. Now you can turn the visibility for frame and top plate off. You can modify. You can sketch on top of it. You, you can go to the individual component itself. Now you can modify this. You can double click on it to go to the individual component. Now you can modify it and you can add any further uh, supports you want to, to be on the top. So to reduce the deformation, you may want to add any supports and you can do it like this as well. And you can turn the visibility for your frame structure back on. And as you can see, there isn't any support between the beams. You may have to add the beams there and continue with your modeling. So the goal was to show you how to run the analysis on Autodesk Inventor Nastrian. You can always go to environments and click on Nastrian and follow the process I've just shown you. So that's all.